Displacement maps. They're clever tools used to place logos, text, and other things onto your surface in Photoshop. They can be a little confusing if you don't know what you're doing, but that's why we're here. So let's get started. Get your image. We're starting with something simple like this denim, but it works on brick, stone, wood, and other fabrics. Basically any texture so long as it can reasonably display the text or image you want to show. Go to your adjustment layers and click on hue and saturation. Then drag the saturation bar all the way to the left to get rid of the color. Now go to File, Save As, and we're going to save it as a Photoshop file. Close out of that one and reopen the original one. Now just prepare your text or drop your image on top and position it how you want. Now convert any text or images to smart objects. This will just make it easier to make tweaks later. Now we're going to go to Filter, Distort, Displace. It's going to pull up this window and we're not going to touch any of these settings. Just hit OK and it's going to pull up your files. We're going to choose that other file that we just made. And now you can see it's applied the texture onto the text. What it's doing is taking the dark and light areas from the other file to figure out where to apply the texture into our text. Because of that, we can move it around, resize it, and even go into our smart object and edit the text. Now to make it look even better, I'd suggest bring down the fill just to help it blend better. Sometimes when I'm doing this, it can also help to change the blending mode, but I'm not gonna worry about that for this one. What I'm going to do though is show you something else you can do. Go ahead and drop that fill all the way down to zero and then double click it to bring up your layer styles. Go to color overlay and choose a nice deep red. Then set the blending mode to linear burn. Now go to bevel and emboss and set the style to emboss. Then bring the angle to about 150 degrees. Set the highlight to 80%. Change the blending mode of shadow to linear burn and set that to 20%. Lastly, go to texture and select the one that says denim when you hold your cursor over it. Leave the scale at 100 and raise the depth and that's it. Like I said, this works with a ton of different textures and this was just one way to do it. Play around with different textures and settings and you can make some really cool stuff. Have fun. Even though working on design projects may be a lot of fun, it's still incredibly time consuming and even challenging. To help you save time while still creating good work, we've got design templates for Photoshop, which allow you to finish projects within minutes instead of hours. So if you wanna start saving time now, start by checking out our links in the description below.